Thank you. Can you pick it up for a What do you think today? Uh, I haven't been out in a couple weeks, but I'm just throwing swim baits, so I don't really know where the bite's been, or probably gonna go with the party boats are just kind of yeah. start from there. But All right, where, good where luck. Where are you headed? I'll probably go to the bird cage. Okay, you know yeah. that, but... I'll probably be down that area. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready, man. Hopefully we catch more this time than we caught last time. Dude, we're gonna catch one today. I had this feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I always had that feeling, but I always end up nothing. Just to let you know, Adam hasn't caught his uh, halibut here, right? No. This is his third outings here. And this is my second time. My first time was, I was out here for five hours. Not a single bite. And, all right, let me show you my setup for today. I got this seven and a half foot. VIP salt water from Daiwa and I paired it up with a Daiwa Lexa 300 with a 40 pound graded line right here and I attach a three-way swivel right there and this one right here this line is for my sinker and my leader right here this is about a three and a half or four feet leader and at the end of that, this is the crippled anchovy right there. So I'll show you guys how to rig up a crippled anchovy to a herring. <laughs> so this is the plate right here. Just put the head place in there. And there's a red pin right there. That will serve to hold the bait by poking it. Just like that. And it will pass through the other hole right there see that so and then there's two hooks right here this is size 2 odd hook and a size 2 odd treble hook so I'm gonna put it somewhere around here so we'll have that bent that way our bait will spin see just somewhere around there and then pull that line Put a curve. Some folks put a toothpick there so it holds the lines. For me, I don't really do that. But just like that, guys. See that little curve? Oh, I'll be using a torpedo sinker. I'll attach that to the other line. Just like that. Spin. Yep, it spins. It spins really good. Wait. So what time is it? It's now 7.30 in the morning. So I have about till noon to fish. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough for other fishermen, especially party boats. Yeah. I haven't heard anyone like really limiting. What's that? Yeah. Last year, last year was closed. Salmon season last year was closed. And all the boats, all the boats are in the bay catching halibut. And halibut last year was really awesome. And that time, that time, the limit for halibut is three. Imagine, boats were catching, were limiting. Party boats were limiting. So, I don't know, I don't know. And I thought it's it's too late for them, but at least, yeah, yeah, they limited it to two halibuts per person. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this year is 
tough. I mean, I, have, I haven't seen any party boats catching limits, their limits. I went out once, two weeks ago, and I didn't catch anything. I trolled for five hours, nothing. So what do you think? You think it, uh, it affects the bites or the populations of Aldabit? Because last year's salmon season was closed and everybody is after Aldabit with three. <laughs> with three limits. No. Yeah, I heard. I heard that salmon, this year will start at June 6th. And then we have a month, a month to fish for salmon. But it's not approved yet. No, not yet. It's, uh, it's still, a, it's, it's a proposal. I saw a link. Uh, my friend of mine, uh, Chris, I don't know if you guys know Chris Bit Fish. Yeah, he sent me, uh, he showed us the, uh, the proposal for salmon for this year on when it's gonna open. Or if there's, I think there's three options. There's June 6th. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't quote me on this one. I think there's June 6th and it's open for a month. June 6th, open for a month and They'll close it. That's it. And I don't know the rest. The rest is just bad. Yeah. So if that happens, I think, yeah, people will still fish for Halloween. And it will get hit again. And what do you think is the, the possible solution for this? Do you think we have to minimize the limit for per person, I think maybe one, not two, or, but if we close, but if we close the halibut season, what else, what else, what else the fisherman will fish for? Nothing, rock, rockfish is not really close. You gotta have to go to freaking 300 feet of water to fish for rockfish. And, and the salmon season is close and then the halibut will be closed. I don't know what to fish anymore. <laughs> Sturgeon? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, guys? What do you think? If you know more information about the, the fishery here, let us know. Go right down in the comment section below. Uh, let me go check my line. See. My, it's still there. I haven't got any single bites, no. No bites yet, no bites. Oh, okay. How long have I been trolling now? It's now 8 o'clock, so I've been trolling for about 30 minutes and have not gotten any single bites. My bait's still here. Okay, unscratched. <laughs> I'm gonna change it just there she goes wait again Start recording. Oh, that's 
massive, that's massive. That's massive. That's massive. Holy moly. That's big. That's big. Oh my gosh. That's big. Let's go. quick get him out of the misery ready oh. there yeah check this out guys oh this is massive yeah oh this is big this is big oh, look at that <laughs> Woo! Let me measure this guy. Uh, I'm guessing this is 30 inches. This is the more than fishing measuring tape. Check him out on my website, morethanfishing.net. 31, 31. Ha! Woo! Nice. So happy right now. It's been a while. All right, this is very important, guys. Before dropping your line, make sure you check your line if there's a frail or any small cuts. Because halibut teeth are really sharp, so check that line. All right, this one's good. Let's drop this back there. Ah, yeah. Let me go back to the markings that I have. Where I caught that. I'm hitting the same path where I caught that fish. This is what I like about this. So what? Go get a bite again. Oh, I got fish on again. Oh my gosh. That was quick. Yep, fish, fish on. Oh, this is a big one too. What the heck? I was just trying to explain it to you guys where. What the heck? Alright. Another good size halibut right here. Wow. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, this is probably another 30 inches right here, guys. Look at that. I'm done for today. Okay, got it. Oh, bad. Bad gaff, though. I hit him in the back. Look at that! Yeah! Screw this bad boy! Yes! 
Good. We're good. This is about like probably another, yeah, another 30 inches here or 29. So I am done for today. We got our limits, two halibuts per day, 22 inches limit size. It's actually a good fishing day. It's only, it's only eight something. It's only 840 and we start fishing at 730. So that's about an hour. An hour of fishing and we already limit out. So yeah, that's good. That's good fishing. So yeah. Oh, before I forget, um, I would like to invite everybody on this coming June 8th and 9th and that will be my annual surf fishing tournament here in Northern California. So if you guys are into surf fishing for striped bass or surf perch, yeah, this tournament is for you. And on the first day, it will be more like of a meet and greet with our fellow YouTubers, the likes of Fisherman's Life, Outdoor Chef Life, Tired Fishing. Addicted Fishing is gonna be coming down here too, setting up his booth. So we will also have some vendors that are selling their products like fishing reels, lures. And the second day is going to be the competition day for biggest striped bass and biggest surf perch. So if you win this, first place biggest striped bass, you will win $3,000. So, and we will have a lot of uh, giveaways and raffles. So check it out guys. I will put the link on the description below or visit my website at morethanfishing.net. With that, Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, come on, hit that like button and subscribe. Check out Die Hard Fishing channel too. He has a lot of good fishing videos. So, yep, with that, thank you so much. Have a great day. It's not just fishing, it's more of a fishing. Let's go.